Hey everyone, it's Connor here. We're going to be doing my entire closet tour. I'm going to be showing you what I wear on a daily basis. And let's get to it. And we're over here now. Now we're going to show you my closet. This is where I keep my, like, of course my clothes. And I got a little remote here. This actually turned the lights on on my closet. Number one. This is a sweater I got from Savers. This one right here. This one, no, no joke, was 10 bucks. It was one of my favorite, it's one of my favorite things to wear when it's really cold because it gets really itchy. But when I do wear this, it's really, really comfortable. All right, the second one will be, will be this burgundy sweater I got from Walmart. I wear this with like a cardigan. Or as well as a denim jacket. Got ones like this. This is another shirt that I like to wear more often. I don't wear these too often because I haven't gone to more nice because of quarantine. <laughs> and it looks like this. My next one is actually one of my one for my Cape Cod vlog. This is rose, like kind of like a button-down shirt, very very flowy. It is from. Fur 21. My next one is this flannel shirt I also got from Walmart the same time I got the other one. It is really, it looks really wrinkly right now because I don't really wear it that often, but I wear this when it's like when it gets colder, which gets a lot in Connecticut. My next one is this. This is the button down I wore for my uh, like, like last video, my, my vinyl collection. I really like this. This one reminds me really like it's very, it's very colorful. I, I, I've i been getting more into color because I used for a long time to be like, oh, black, like, like inner emo. Is, I know it looks a little pilly because I need to fix it a little bit. Is this kind of like color blocking? Oh God, there's a lot of lint on it. A color blocking sweater from, Everything majority is from Fair 21 because they have good deals over there. It's like this little sweatshirt. It is time to get into what I call my favorite. The turtleneck. I love turtlenecks. They keep me warm in the winter. It makes you look a little European. And that's the reason why I like it. And also it makes you look like... It makes you look really good when you wear an outfit that looks really like... You have a pair of black pants, black Chelsea boots. It'll make you look really, it'll make, you, it'll make you look a lot more put together. I always learned that from my mom. Always make, your, make sure you look good no matter what. Is this one from a Japanese brand? And I, I forgot what the name was because it was one of those knockoff websites. But this one is so comfortable and it's got a unique pattern. I don't know if you can see this, but it's like got these weird zigzaggies on it and it's really nice. My next one is this. Uh, oatmeal cardigan I showed you in a video, past video. I really like this because it's like really comfortable. It's very, very, very durable. It's definitely one I'm definitely keeping for a, for a long time. My next one is this very wrinkly shirt. <laughs> it's this like flannel looking kind of like kind of similar to the one I go with. I always put it with I would pair it with that one over there. The cardigan I showed you. It's kind of like a Plattish, I say, I say very preppy. Preppy. Now it's something that I've never shown you guys before. This is my new puffer coat I got when Old Navy opened up after the quarantine happened. And everything. My mom and like were crazy in there, and I got this uh, bad boy. No joke. This was fifteen dollars. I can't believe something like really like big and puffy and everything. It just looks so good when you put it on. Of course, you know, one of my favorites this this uh, pumpkin sweater. This one's really, really, really comfortable. It's only downfall is that I'll say this. When I wear this, I don't know if you noticed in videos, I kept myself quiet when I do this. It gives me man tits. I don't like it when it does that, but I love the color. And I try to, like I said, I'm trying to work out, try to lose weight because I'm currently 200 pounds. Try to get down. I'm trying to get down to one. 70. That's what I want to get down to. That's my goal. 
and rip jacket through this entire closet. This is a suede aviator jacket from the 70s that I got from uh, Savers. And I actually have where it says it's from made in, it's made in Italy. My next one is this green kind of sweatshirt. It's got a little zipping tie, like zip tie thing. It's really nice. It's that I've definitely had this for over two years now. It's got me some good juice and it. it's definitely very comfortable because I'm a big sweatshirts person because that's where sometimes I wear some clothes and they don't fit right or they're too loose because I'm not a tall person. I am 5'7", and I'm also like a son of stocky, and I have short arms. Hence, I like this leather jacket, but look, it doesn't fit my hands. But it's that whole kind of baggy aesthetic. Kind of like, it's kind of similar to the other one, but I got this, it's a kind of like a more, it's from, it's from Croft, Croft and Burrow, Borrow, I'm horrible pronouncing things. I always get size large, because it's like, <laughs> kind of like what Game Grum said. You might buy a little small, I think a little petite boy, but realize I'm just a fat man. <laughs> oh God, I love game rooms. Where am I going with this? But no, this is a good, this is a good sweater. I really like this. The next one, this is what I call my Irish shirt. Cause that reminds me like if I went, or went to Ireland, that's what I would wear. It is this really nice, it, I'd say it's turtleneck, but kind of, it's like a funnel neck. It's very, very like one of my hair colors. My favorite colors are either teal, like, or this kind of like forest green. Oh, it's so comfortable. My next one is this camo vest, because vests are coming back into fashion now. Because vests were a little bit out, and now they're back in. So I got this, this I've had this for like three years, this like camo vest. It has like, in, inside of like fleece. It's really comfortable. My, one of my favorite camo bomber jacket trench coats. I got a lot of, I actually had to get this re, re sewn because it got ripped in the wash because we had mice problem and they blew everything up like little mouse bombs, like smoke and my clothes were dirty. So I put it, stupidly put in the wash, put on a heavy cycle and it got ripped a thing. It was like <laughs> ripped right open. So I had to get there, but you would never know it get ripped. All right, my next one is this little stripey shirt. I really like this shirt. This is like another, of course, another one from, from Forever 21. Majority of my things are from Forever 21. This is a little like, yeah, I, I really like the colors. It's, it's very retro. My next one, mind you, all my closet color organized. This is from Old Navy. My sister got this for my, my I think, Christmas or birth, my birthday last year. I'm not sure. It's like a, kind of like a worker's jacket. It's like blue. Really, 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 really comfortable. Yeah. You guys are stereotypical crew neck, blue sweat, like, like kind of sweatshirt. You can't go wrong. Always good to layer things with this, like a like a denim jacket by itself. Here we go. This is another. I am big into denim jackets at the moment. This is kind of like a raw denim, kind of like jacket i got this one. i got old navy because i would got a couple of them from there i got this this is supposed to be buttoned but <laughs> it's actually a really good uh short sleeve acid washed shirt it looks good no matter what this is in my next one of my favorite shirts is this kind of thing called my peacock shirt this is very like i am big i patterns that's the thing of some people like like minimalistic. I'm like, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I like my patterns. I like like this stuff, like this, like unique stuff. We got another really nice denim jacket. It's more a lighter side. This is from Forever 21. Got like a uh, different styles and everything. This is one of my favorite shirts over the summertime. This would become my retro like 1980s look. It's very pastel green. It's really good with like if you tuck it in some jeans that have some like some like white sneakers. That look really good with that. Another cardigan. This is a you can tell I have, I have a lot of these in there. This is like a one from Old Navy. Oh, actually, no, this is from Kohl's. Sonoma. They make a lot of different brands from from over there. 
That's pretty much it. This is a cardigan. Another one right here. This is a very comfortable, even though it's got one little hole somewhere down the bottom. This is really like a little, kind of, I call it like, like, like ice cream looking one where it's like got like a little speckles of black in there. Off to this one. And now we got another turtleneck. Like a little, little dangling thing. I don't know what the point of that is. Little fleece, it's got green. And funny enough, it's got pockets too. That's what the cool part about this is. And then we got one. This is one of the softest flannels I've ever had. I, don't, I like the style of this one more. Kind of how they might get buttoned up or how they got a turn, black turtleneck under this. And that's pretty much for the top. Let's get down to the bottom of the shelf. All right, for the bottom shelf, we got this one. Kind of like sweater, it's like short sleeve. I use this for when I do one more. What they call gothic looks. I like to do that. I, I, I like to do other more stuff on like by some Dr. Martins and stuff. We got another one right here. Another sweater. They kind of like a cable lint one. Really, really, really soft. Really good. I've had this for a long time. This one's like a kind of like a sweatshirt material. Of course, you can't go wrong. With a with a, with a, with a, with a turtleneck or British people call them roll necks. This thing we got right here. I like the style. I, I'm a big turtleneck person because I, I, I it makes me look good. So I have, can't go wrong with too many of those. Oh god, this one's falling apart. I'm gonna fall apart. I'm gonna take falling off. This is my like what I call my freaking uh, my my goth cloak. <laughs> This is, I really like this because it's like not too thin, not too th like thick. Another good one is this black kind of like, yeah, cardigan, another one. I wear this once in a while because this gets really thick when I wear this and gets like really like sweaty hot with this on. So all I do when it's snowing. And then one of my favorite ones is this, it's got this velour uh, Kind of like kind of like this jacket, but it's like but it's it's like kind of suede velour. The other one from Forever Twenty One. Let's get down to the shoes. We're gonna start off with my Dr. Martin trucker jack. Trucker jack. <laughs> Dr. Martin's. What do they call them? Dr. Martin's trucker jack. Truck Two hours later. These are my Dr. Martin trucker shoes. I really like them. They're like really, really nice. Pair of these. These are a pair of kind of like holes, like you like, got like, like a little buckle on it. And a discount rack. My Chelsea boots. These are from Amazon. And these are really are comfortable. But the only, the only downfall is they're really clickety. Listen to this, very clickety. And that is my closet. Hope you have a good one. Make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to hit the little bell at the bottom and also subscribe to my Patreon because I don't make exactly any money for YouTube at the moment. Have a good one. Bye-bye.